Hey there, fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Bobs and Angels. And, uh, yeah, things are starting to kick along quite nicely. Last episode, we put in uh, this section here for refining stereotype uh, into a bunch of ores. And, I mean, as you can see, it is like, it is super slow. Um, and what I want to do is I want to really expand this. I want to do, um, I just want to copy and paste this down and and build some more and what I was thinking was what we really need is a project train um, and I think in Bobs and Angels there's so many different uh, different things that you can uh, put together in a project train that it's probably not going to be a one-size-fits-all thing um, so what I want to do is I want to set up a uh, a uh, bit of a bit of one here for the stuff we'll need to create a uh, material processing. Now, this is a stereotype processing uh, project train. All right, now uh, the thing with project train, if you are not familiar with it, is uh, it goes around and it just grabs a lot of stuff and uh, and empties it out for us. And in order to do that, well, we need uh, we need some stuff, don't we? And what we need to do is get it unloading some things into some uh, some chests. So we're going to drop a bunch of chests here. I think we'll probably get away with just one, um, just one, one of these, one of these things, um, maybe. Let's let's have a look what we need first. I mean, this is kind of the crux of it, isn't it? Uh, we're going to need all of that. So if we actually Turn that into a bit of a blueprint. Um, we'll just go uh, material. Uh, we'll call it chunk processing. That makes sense, doesn't it? Chunk processing. And of course, like it's not it's not perfect. There's some stuff here that would change for uh, individual ones. So we'll actually we probably want to keep we want to keep that. But get rid of some of that. There we go. All right. We'll get rid of that. Um, yes, but these so these are essentially the things that we'll need uh, for it, which is there's quite quite a lot of stuff, isn't there? Um, but that is okay. That is okay. So we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna look at it and be able to open it up and say, okay. So we need a thousand a thousand transport belts now. The numbers aren't so important at this point as uh, as getting the things together. Uh, so, why is that not being made? I don't know. Uh, what we need is, unfortunately, some uh, some of these. Uh, we do have enough. All right. So, first of all, we're going to start with belts. Uh, so, you are going to whitelist belts. Uh, and these guys are all going to do that. There we go. So now these ones will pick up and put in the front boxes. These ones will pick up and put in the back boxes. Um, yes, this will be a little bit slow. Uh, I could use, actually, these would be much better, wouldn't they? Uh, fast stack filter inserters. All right, so now you're getting, uh, you're going to get belts, which is nice. Where is our blueprint? Here we go. Okay, belts. We need stone pipe to ground and stone pipe. We'll get you whitelisting uh, stone pipe to ground. And you stone pipe. There we go. All right. Uh, wrong one. Now, are we going to have enough? I don't know. Um, medium electric poles. Let's get those in here. Uh, medium electric poles. Next up is all right, fast inserters and flotation cells. So you are going to be fast inserters. You are going to be flotation cells. Flotation cells. Uh, must be in this one. There it is. All right, and then next up, uh, next up is what do we got? 
We've got fast undergrounds, pumps, and ore sorting facilities. All right, so undergrounds, pumps, and you know what? I just realized uh, this is totally the wrong way of going about this. Because uh, if we're just building normal trains, what we can do is just get them to totally empty the train. Ah, this is this is the key, isn't it? Right. Okay, so let us get a train. Why isn't that being built? I don't know. Um, is it requesting stuff? It's got a request in. Uh, we have no no logistics bots. That's right. I pulled them out. Um, logistics bots. Here we go. Okay, there's ten logistics bots in the network. Um, while I think about it, I know we're going to leave our construction bots here. That is okay. All right. Uh, so let's get a train. And we actually have a train here already, so we might as well use it. Um, and let's put a carriage on it. There we go. And that's what we are going to put all the things in. Um, let's head on down here. And let's start amassing the things that we'll need. So one of the things we need is flotation cells. We need a lot of them. Uh, we need... that's not what I wanted. Uh, flotation cells, yes, we need 30 flotation cells. We need... Uh, I can't make those yet, can I? No. Uh, we needed 8 of those. And 8 of those. Alright, so let's stand a little bit closer here. So the, uh, the guys can get everything we need. Alright. Um, we did need a thousand of these, so we don't need any of that. Um, now we can look at the blueprint. Alright, so a thousand of those, 150 of those, a lot of fast filter inserters. Wow, that is probably more than we're going to have available. Um, I am going to uh, change that up to uh, 100. Hopefully we'll get some more of those on the way. Uh, why is alt mode off? That is disastrous, isn't it? Okay. Now we need 150 of these. 100 of those, 100 of those, 50 fast inserters, rotation cells, yada yada yada. Alright. So we can start putting some stuff in here now. Uh, first of all, let's cancel out these so we don't get any more of those. And then in, in, in you guys go. Uh, we'll get one of those. Let's have a look what else we needed. Alright, a thousand. A thousand of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because it wasn't a thousand, it was actually 900. Um, this is getting pretty full, isn't it? That's alright. Uh, bring it back up. Alright. Uh, 150 pipe to ground. Two, three. Uh, we needed, yeah, we did need some of those. We don't actually have enough uh, fast filter inserters because it does use a lot, 116 of them. Uh, 100 pipe, 100 poles, fast inserters. 100 poles, 100 pipe, and we've already got fast inserters. Uh, we need some of those. Actually, running out of space in the old train, which hopefully that's not going to be an issue. Um, pumps, fast splitters. Alright, pumps, fast splitters. We've got those, we've got those. Clarifiers, fast stacks, roboports. Alright, do we have any clarifiers? No. Uh, fast stack inserters. And a robo ports. So now we need to do is grab a stack of clarifiers if I can remember where they are in this mess. Uh, there they are over there. Okay. Eight clarifiers? I wouldn't say that's completely a stack, but uh, it's not the worst. We've got a bunch of red belts making their way over to our buffer, which is nice. Okay. Uh, but we have clarifiers now. So, 
Theoretically, that is everything we need to uh, to make another one of these. And we are going to go to the Stereotype Processing Project Train, where it's going to unload everything. And while we're on the way, we can uh, paste down our blueprints. We can paste this down uh, in line, maybe? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, we can. All right. Let's give it a little bit of space so we can get everything going and uh, this should uh, this should work nicely all right we've got a bunch of stuff um, I'm gonna pop even more construction robots in here and they can go about and do their job and now this is going to uh, this is going to go without our help so what we can do then is uh, let's go back down here. Uh, let's turn off those ones. There we go. All right, and uh, we can do something similar for uh, for these other ones because, as you'll notice, uh, everything is going really slow. Our lead is slow. Our tin is slow. Um, so let's start. Let's start by making this much much better. And uh, luckily, we now have access to uh, to red belts, which means uh, that this thing is going to be considerably better. Uh, unfortunately, I think height-wise, the number of flotation cells is going to be an issue. Uh, we could just use it. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll pick it up as is. All right. Let's get back uh, some of these, some of these, and some of these. All right, let's get 30 of them. Let's get eight of them. Let's get eight of them. Uh, let's grab all of these from here and put half of them in there. Uh, that looks like it is complete. That is not complete, almost complete. Uh, we can put all of those in there. Let's have a look. All right, uh, that is still looks like we're actually with we're, we're not getting uh, getting them made fast enough. I would say is the issue there. That's all right. Um, everything is quite busy now as we are really trying to ramp this up. Uh, we'll grab some more clarifiers. I'm making pumps somewhere, I'm sure of it. Um, can I just can I just request some of them? That's good, I got eight of them, got eight of them. Uh, pumps, pumps, pumps in one of these earlier ones. There it is. Pumps. Uh, yeah, we've got twenty in storage somewhere, so give me twenty of them. We are going to uh, we're gonna load this train up. All right, some other things we need: power poles. Uh, nope, nope, none of those. Got those. We need some of them, some of them, uh, some of them. So definitely some of them. Uh, possibly needed some of them. Them. Uh, not that many. We needed those. Looks like I'm missing. Uh, yeah, they're they're on the way. All right, that has been made. Uh, we have we have these required to come in. All right, now what else? Uh, what else will we be missing if we wanted to build this one? I think we've kind of got everything. Uh, robo ports and uh, not just robo ports, also. Also, we need two other things. Um, the warehouse. We do need a stack of warehouses. And uh, the other thing we actually need is construction robots. Because believe it or not, uh, those are floating around here somewhere in a box uh, that we will need to put into the individual robots so they can build themselves. Alright, and they are over here. Um, I'm really going to have to ramp that up. 
uh, to probably a 4,000. 107 is not going to be enough. Keep going, guys. They're going as fast as they can. Which, uh, to be fair, is pretty fast. Alright, uh, all these poor bots now need charging. There's somewhere else you can charge. Oh, I feel I feel bad for you guys. I'm gonna rip you up. There we go. Alright. Uh, what's that guy got? Maybe a robo bullet? I don't know. Exciting times. Alright. Uh, we are back up. I think we needed a hundred stone pipes still in the in our uh, in our setup. Uh, I definitely wanted to change that. Actually, we do, we do want to keep that as 20, because uh, that is our personal RoboPort supply, uh, which is important. Um, now, our area here is working hard. Or oh, hardly working. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, I am a dad, and that was a dad joke. Um, Alright, what did I want to say? I wanted to put some of those in. And then we should get 100 more. I'll uh, go for a quick run and see if we can intercept the bots that will be delivering those. Because they are there, there. Look at them. We're ready to go. Alright. Beautiful. Um, I would say we are ready to go over and take our newfound abilities to do a train over here at our our tin outpost. Um, let me go to here. And then what we'll do is we will copy this. Yep, that seems alright. And plonk it down when we arrive. Um, where is it? It is that alignment right about there. Alright, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, that is definitely not supposed to be there. Let's, uh, let's destroy that before our bots actually start building that. Uh, here we go. Alright, somewhere about there. Let's go into manual mode so our bots can start working. Yep, there we go. Alright. Where did I just jump in? Jump in? Why can't I move? Um, we're missing something? Oh, no, we put in one bit too many. There we go. Alright. Uh, quickly better do that. Otherwise the old bots aren't going to be going anywhere. Looks like alt mode got turned off. And let's roughly pull this train in to where it's supposed to be. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Now the, uh, the real test is, if we just copy this, if we uh, copy this, okay, I needed to, I needed to shift copy that though, didn't I? Oh no, there we go. Okay, let's plunk it in there, um, that's this one, so let's delete this one so we're not confused. Uh, now this one needs to... Uh, Needs to hit. How do I put an upgrade planner here? Uh, place an upgrade planner here to upgrade items and entities. All right. Um, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. All right. We need a very specific upgrade planner, and one that we happen to have. Right, let's plug that one down. Let's get that upgrade planner, pop it in there, there we go, okay, this looks like it's going to work, there we go, and now we have upgraded all of those, those are normal flotation cells, all sortings mark 2, uh, I don't think anything else has been updated, don't need that, alright, uh, that is, that is great, and now we can plonk uh, two of these down. 
Now we just need to find the alignment so things don't look too crazy. There. And let's get that alignment right. I'm going to go as far away as I can and still have the power poles connected right there. All right. That should work now if we pop down all of our construction bots. Um, or not, because our robo ports aren't in range. Ah, well, the main problem is we don't actually have robo ports uh, here at all. All right. Let's fix that. Let's put a robo port there. Get him powered up so they can start working. Right, I'm going to need another one further up here somewhere. Uh, it looks like this one here is actually going to be a great spot for it. If we can somehow connect up power uh, over to here. There we go. Uh, now that is covering everywhere. Perfect. Okay, so all we need to do is connect it up. I actually have to go back. Now that I think about it, uh, we have to go back and connect up the other one, don't we? Well, we'll get there. First things first, let's get this Bobmonium in. Alright. Uh, there to there. Some manual digging. And, okay, that is a very unfortunate alignment. But we'll, uh, we'll work with it. There we go. Ah. Can my bots do that? No, because I don't have any bots, of course, because I put all my bots in to the, uh, into the construction set. Um, Alright, so this is going to come down. It's going to jump over like that. And then we'll bring it over to here. And another dead tree in the way. And we'll uh, tap into that one. There's our crushed rock. Okay. And now we have the good stuff. Um, so this is going to be... Let me see. Slag and... Slag. Nope. Uh, we actually need to put one in there so I can see what it is. Slag and tin ore. Alright, so this is slag, and slag needs to go over to that one. Yeah, we can do that really easily. Um, let's do something like that. Alright, so slag is going to come over here. Uh, let's bring it in on this line, that's actually the perfect line. I wonder if that will go any higher. Oh, it will. Wonderful. All right. And then if we bring this straight down here, uh, not like that, of course, we can tap it into there. There is slag, and then tin ore is that little beauty over there. So let's snake our way down to there. And then you can jump in to this second row here. Beautiful. Alrighty. And that just leaves us with our other ores, which are these various ores. Um, so this must be silicon. Which are... Oh, another dead tree. Gosh. I don't know if they're all ones that I've killed with my pollution, but uh, it is pretty crazy. There we go. Uh, this one is going to not do that, that's for sure. Jump down to there. Oh, that's going to annoy me for a while. Like that. And then this last one is our nickel. Let's do that. Alrighty. Uh, that should be uh, pretty decent. 
for the first round and now we just have to hook up our next one our final uh, final belt of bobmonium that's that's not the way to do it is it all right there we go uh, that is not gonna work we'll just pretend that that never happened there we go let's bring it over here as far as we can get it we need to get it up to there can this one do it can excellent all right And that way, and then Bobmonium is in there. All right, so this is crushed stone. Let's get this to the bottom of our Bobmonium. We're going to run this all the way over to the crushed stone. There we go. All right, um, and. I don't want to do that though. So let's do that. Let's do that and push this one over to the left. There we go. All right. That will uh, that will get our cross stone going out of this one. Uh, looks like we're missing some clarifiers. That's fine. Um, now this one is our is our what? What is that one? Um. Ah, that must be our warehouse that we actually haven't got set up here in this blueprint. That's okay, we're going to do that, we're going to do that, and uh, one of these right there. And these ones will run for uh, forever, essentially, um, with a warehouse on each one. Uh, fast inserters will be enough. What do I put over here? A fast stack inserter? Okay, now yeah, well, I'm not going to bother changing that. Um, all right, we are back now with uh, with this situation. Okay, you're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Um, yeah, sure you can. No, we don't want to do that, do we? Okay. So this is our slag. Ah. Oh, I can't believe it's making some already. Um, our slag and our uh, our this this stuff. All right, so I want to bring it down to this line. All right, somewhere about there is a good line for these. So that'll be clear of everything else. Like so, all right, and then we uh, we let the spaghetti start, don't we? Um, okay, so this is slag, which needs to get over to here. Ah, oh, that's that is most unfortunate. There we go. Uh, well, I didn't probably because I've got that there. Yep. Okay. Um, let's go like that. And then into uh, we'll do that, but we'll also we'll also put a second a second slag input there. Um, and then here we're going to need to do a similar thing. Uh, except that it comes in here. Alrighty, that's good. And then we just need to tap in these final three things. Oh man, I feel like we are actually getting somewhere. Alright, those things, those things, and these final things. Cut down that tree. Alright, uh, so these final things are just going to go here. And they're going to do that. Uh, these final things are going to jump over to here, right there. And we'll do that as well, because why not? And the final, final thing 
is this guy which needs to go over to over to there. There we go. All right, and we are we are tapped in. That is a beautiful thing. Um, not enough logistics storage space. Okay, that is a problem that I've totally neglected. Uh, let's pop that there so they know what's going on. All right, let's head back over to the other side and uh, and hook that up. Uh, we're probably running over time. We are just about. I'm just going to run back to base. I'm going to restock myself. Um, I don't need to worry about these other things because we should have enough things all around. Uh, what is this missing? What are these missing? Fast filter inserters, of course. That's right. We needed uh, we needed a lot more of those, didn't we? So let's steal the fast filter inserters from here, and then let's get stocked up on all the goodies. Um, I really need to actually drop some of these goodies, uh, not so goody goodies, a lot of stuff that uh, we do not need. Uh, I should turn those 10, while I think about it, into uh, into 10 pumps. Where are the pumps? Pumps, pumps, pumps. What am I, what am I doing? I'm trying to find pumps. There they are. Okay, let's send those 10 engines into 10 pumps. Let's quickly run over here. Um, I should have pulled that carriage out so we could have gone a bit faster. Can I do that here? I can. Look at that. That is most intriguing. Um, what's wrong, buddy? You run out of fuel? Nope. Uh, I turned you... you somehow went on to... There you go. Uh, we went on to manual mode. For some reason, maybe because when I change the configuration of the train, how far it's got to go to turn around, that is some pretty poor design. One of our big things that we'll need to do in the next episode or two is really improve this train network. We're starting to get uh, a lot of a lot of spurs branching off, and we've just I've talked about this before. If you have too many T offs close together, it just ends up being one big chain signal. Um, which isn't good for anyone. Speaking of chain signals, um, I really need to uh, pop a signal here. And also one at the top here. And then uh, let's back you up. Just so that we can get uh, the other guys clear if needed. Alright. Um, well, I've got one construction robot. Well, that's that's a thing, isn't it? Um, why did you not get built? Maybe I didn't uh, put construction robots where they were needed. That's probably why this whole thing is not uh, is not working as it should. There we go. All right. Let's see if we are missing. We are missing some some objects. Can I just grab some construction bots, or are you just going to be busy the whole time? Uh, looks like they're going to be busy the whole time. That's alright, well, while that's happening, let's get this all hooked in. Alright, first things first, we need to bring in some supply. So let's bring in our third stereotype line. Look at this forward planning. Um, it is interesting forward planning, I'll give it that. Whether we're actually going to be able to get it through this line is another question entirely. Uh, it actually looks like we will. Well planned. Well planned indeed. Look at that. That is almost perfect. If perfection was ever so ugly. Alright. Uh, Stereotype in means crushed rock out. Uh, crushed rock out is that one. Uh, we actually, whoa, we missed a input line on this one. Um, okay, let's uh, let's change that a wee bit. Thankfully, uh, that was pointing down, so nothing nothing was totally ruined. All right, 
There we go. So you go in there. Uh, we do need power. Somewhere along here. Why have you got no power? There we go. And now we need to bring this crushed rock into the uh, crushed rock section. Uh, which is where? Over yonder. Um, we could just bring it in on that line. It is certainly somewhat doable. Uh, something like this. There we go. There is a. Uh, it's going to be a lot of crushed rock. Then, so our steroid tights coming in. Our steroid, crushed steroid is going out. We have crushed. Uh, we have slag somewhere. Do we have slag as a output. Ah, oh, it's over here. All right. Uh, wow, that is uh, that is odd, to say the least. Who knows what I was thinking there? Um, so, slag and uh, copper. Yes, slag and copper. Let's bring you guys down to somewhere down here. Uh, we actually want to bring it in on this line. There we go. That's the line we want. Uh, but like that. Nope. Oh, stop kicking me off. There we go. All right. Oh, there's my little, my lone guy. Let's turn you off uh, for now because otherwise you're going to freak out. All right. Uh, so which is which? We better check that first because that would be a thing that we would forget. All right. Slag is on the top. Um, something else to check is why this isn't actually working just yet. Um, slag is on the top there and there there and of course there so this is slag uh, that is going to be a problem this is copper that is not going to be a problem if I did it the right way uh, let's just do that and then we can fix up that little bit there uh, we don't actually need that of course um, it's just an affectation. There we go. Let's get you across to here and down there like that. Beautiful. And then that just leaves our uh, other products. What is that? Lead, uh, cobalt, and tin. Lead, cobalt, and tin. Uh, lead, cobalt, and tin. All right, you guys can jump under here. Something like that. Lead is on top. Don't forget that. All right, so this one here can just drop in there. This actually is a little bit easier. Uh, where we're going to get the next one in is anyone's guess, but. Uh, that's future our problem, isn't it? Uh, we also don't actually have... It's not like we've filled three red belts either, so we can just uh, put normal belts. Alright, now let's see what is stopping this from working. Uh, well, first off, there are some belts missing. Uh, and then the issue is, is there inserters missing? Yes, fast filter inserters are missing. Uh, which we have a stack, so let's drop them in here and see what happens. Uh, do we have logistics? No, I don't need any more of those. Uh, fast filter inserters. Let's drop them all in there. Fast filter inserters. Uh, some more of that. Now some of these might be in the other section as well. Uh, clarifiers and underground pipe. So we've got underground pipe here already, so it's not here that's missing it. Um, oh gosh. What do these guys do that to me? There we go. Alright. So once those get in, we should see. Yes, 
there we go things are things are working uh, we've got construction coverage all the way to the top and our extension is complete beautiful all right so with that uh, we will call this episode to an end pretty happy with that we've got we've improved our uh, stereotype and uh, well we're missing a few things over here that's all right I'll go over off camera and, uh, and sort that out um, but apart from that I am quite happy with with what's going on. Um, the only things missing here are fast inserters. Alright, well I'll fix these tiny little things up off camera and then we'll come back in uh, another day and uh, we'll sort out what's going on. Alright, as always love to hear your thoughts down below. I know this isn't an automated project train but it's, it's pretty effective for the vast complexities that we're going to see with lots of different outposts and uh, hopefully it'll get the job done. Drop a comment below, and I'll see you next time.